the traditional problem of cars from the countries of the rising sun is not very high quality paintwork. Because of this, the body quickly becomes cloudy, covered with chips and scratches. It is also worth noting the increased sunblasting of some body elements, the rear fenders and the roof of the hood. As for the corrosion protection of the body, it is at a fairly high level, however, due to the age of the car, certain problems still exist. Corrosion most quickly affects the opening of metal sections, but in fairness, it should be said that thanks to high-quality soil and metal, chips begin to rust far from immediately. When inspecting a car, special attention should be paid to the thresholds, wheel arches, hood, trunk lid and roof. It is also worth checking the chassis and exhaust system for corrosion. The main disadvantage of the Mitsubishi Outlander 1 body is the high cost of original parts. Among other troubles, one can note the poor quality of the protective plastic of the optics, it quickly becomes cloudy. The windshield does not differ in durability either, it is quickly covered with scratches and chips. There are also complaints about the operation of the washer nozzles, over time they begin to spray the washer fluid poorly. The problem is solved by installing new jets. The first generation of Mitsubishi Outlander 1 was equipped only with gas line power units, atmospheric 2.0, 136 horsepower, and 2.4, 139 and 160 horsepower, turbocharged 2.0, 201 horsepower, 2.0 turbo R, 240 horsepower. All motors belong to the 4G6 series. This generation of inline force appeared more than 30 years ago, which means that all their whims and malfunctions are well known to mechanics. Structurally, all engines are similar to each other and have approximately the same problems and resource for 500,000 km. It is also worth noting the unpretentiousness of the units to the quality of the fuel. But it's better not to save on lubricants, since the performance of the engine as a whole largely depends on its quality. So, for example, when using low-quality oil, the service life of valve lifters decreases for 2.4 engines. With proper maintenance, their resource is 100-120,000 km, with poor maintenance half as much. Those who believe that tapping hydraulic lifters are nonsense, as a rule, eventually end up with expensive unit repairs. Often this malfunction leads to accelerated valve wear and farther reassembly replacement of the cylinder head. There are no compensators on a 2-liter engine, therefore, once every 80-90,000 km it is necessary to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves for cars running on gas once every 35-45,000 km. If the gaps are not adjusted, over time you may encounter problems such as the destruction of valve plates. The problem areas of engine include the unreliability of the balance shaft, the jam. As a rule, the problem occurs if the shaft bearings do not have enough lubrication, so periodically you need to check the oil level in the motor and top up if necessary. The balance shaft belt also need periodic revision. Not famous for their reliability and engine mounts, especially the left. Often, the owners of Mitsubishi Outlander 1 can float in speed XX. There can be several reasons for this ailment, failure of the idle speed controller, the engine may stall when it is well warmed up, or a temperature sensor, severe contamination of the fuel pump filter, injectors and throttle. For prevention, it is recommended to periodically clean the injection system every 50-60,000 km and check the health of small components. A fairly common phenomenon is the appearance of a leak from under the valve cover gasket. You should not ignore the problem as there is a high probability of oil getting in the timed belt. The pump oil receiver has an unfortunate location, it is installed close to the current case wall, because of this it often suffers deform, even from a slight blow to the pan, the pump stops receiving oil and supplying all moving parts of the motor with it. The weak points of the Outlander with the 2.4 engine is the pressure sensor of the air conditioning system, the since its power is tied to the power of the potentiometer of the electronic gas pedal, if the sensor fails, the gas pedal stops responding to pressing. Another disadvantage of this engine is high fuel consumption, up to 18 liters per hundred, and the short service life of the cooling radiator. Today on most copies the problem has already been eliminated. The generator can also pump up, the bearing wear out. All motors are equipped with a timing belt drive, despite the declared belt resource of 90,000 km, experienced owners recommend changing it and rollers every 80,000 km. At the same run, it is recommended to change the balance shaft drive belt. But the cooling system pump, driven by the timing belt, does not require mandatory replacement. If we talk about the reliability of the Mitsubishi Outlander with turbocharged engines, then it is better to refrain from buying such copies in a used form. Often, such cars are not bought for a quiet ride, so there are great chances to buy a car with a rolled engine that will require a major overhaul without having served even half of its resource. Two gearboxes were installed on the Mitsubishi Outlander 1, a 5-speed manual and a 4-band automatic, installed in tandem with a 2.4-liter engine. There is not much to talk about the boxes, they are reliable and do not cause unnecessary trouble, the main thing is to follow the manufacturer's recommendations for their maintenance.
With careful operation, both units can last up to 500,000 km without costly repairs. When buying a car with mechanics, you need to be prepared for an expensive replacement of the clutch kit, resource 120-150,000 km. On cars of the first years of production, there is a problem with the reliability of the third gear gear. On more recent copies, cases of reverse gear failure are not uncommon. Closer to 200,000 km, play may appear in the sleeves of the lever wings. If the problem is not fixed over time, first and second gears will stop turning on. On the mission, after 150,000 km, bumps and hitches appear. Despite the fact that the Mitsubishi Outlander 1 has permanent all-wheel drive and an impressive ground clearance 195mm, this is typical urban CUV, and not a CUV, as many mistakenly think. Four-wheel drive is implemented using a viscose coupling with a weak degrees of blocking, about 10%, which greatly limits the all-terrain capabilities of the machine. As for the reliability of an all-wheel drive transmission, it usually does not cause significant trouble, but subject to the timely replacement of the lubricant in the transfer case, gearboxes and axles. The weak points here include the outboard bearings of the propeller shaft, they are rented closer to 100,000 km. Fortunately, the days have passed when the entire shaft had to be changed to replace the bearings. With frequent trips of road, you should not count on long service life of the transfer case, it needs to be replaced without having served even 100,000 km. Also, the mounting cushions of the rear axle gearbox can become unusable quite early. In the presence of an ailment, the onset of movement is accompanied by an unpleasant knock. Reliability of the suspension, steering and brakes of the Mitsubishi Outlander 1 with millage. The independent suspension of the Mitsubishi Outlander 1 is energy intensive and provides a fairly comfortable ride even on country roads. However, when driving at speeds over 30 km per hour, coating defects are quite harsh. It is worth noting that the version with the 2.4 engine is a little tougher. As for the reliability of the suspension, it is quite strong and endures even thought operation. At medium loads, it is necessary to shake up the chassis no more than once every 100,000 km. The most vulnerable point of the suspension are the front wheel bearings, they painfully endure shock loads and the strong tightening of the wheel nut. During operation, do not forget to monitor the condition of the rubber suspension elements, anthers of shock absorbers and CV joints. Most often, stabilizer bushings are rented out in the front suspension, but their resource is also impressive, about 70,000 km, the stabilizer struts can last more than 100,000 km. The bolt joints of the levers and silent blocks need to be replaced closer to 150,000 km. The remaining elements can withstand up to 200,000 km. The rear suspension requires a complete shake up about once every 100,000 km. The weak points here is the lower levers, the resource of which often does not exceed 50,000 km. Quite often you can find complaints about the appearance of cracks from the rear suspension, a feature of silent blocks. When moisture and dirt get in, the gum begins to creak unpleasantly. The steering system uses a rack and pinion mechanism with hydraulic booster. This unit is quite reliable and rarely bothers with breakdowns. The only weak point here is the power steering fluid cooling radiator and the high pressure hose. Over time, they begin to leak at the junction. Steering tips, as a rule, serve 80-100,000 km. But the brakes are not distinguished by their street. The considerable mass of the machine contributes to the rapid overheating of the discs and their deformation. Inside, Mitsubishi Outlander 1, although it looks rustic, the quality of inexpensive finishing materials is such that even older specimens look very decent from the inside. True, after 8-10 years of operation, 150-100,000 km, the years take their toll and the interior begins to fill with all sorts of sounds, squeaks, etc. The weak points of the cabin can only be attributed to poor sound insulation. The trunk can also disappoint, it has a small volume, 402 liters, and a fairly large loading high. But electronics, despite all its simplicity, often annoys its owners with minor malfunctions. Common malfunctions include a howling stove motor, malfunctions in the folding mechanism of the exterior mirror, a free on pressure sensor, and an electric fan control unit. Mitsubishi Outlander 1 is the car that is equally well suited for use in the city and beyond, as it allows you to maintain mobility and safety, regardless of road conditions and weather conditions. Operating experience has shown that the first-generation Outlander is a very strong and reliable car. However, when buying a car of this model, one should not forget that even the freshest copies will be more than 10 years old, which means that age-related problems are inevitable. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.